Hi guys! I wanted to share a quick uh, recipe with you guys because the other day I um, it occurred to me um, since you know you guys know I'm doing low carb, no carbs, so I had an idea to um, to do a shepherd's pie and instead of with mashed potatoes to do it with mashed cauliflower. I do mashed cauliflower a lot um, so it's super easy for me to make but um, usually I put like just a few ingredients I don't put too much stuff usually I just put garlic powder and a little bit of butter but um, I last night I made it it was awesome it was a total hit um, I made it with ground turkey vegetables and I put mashed cauliflower instead of the mashed potatoes of a regular shepherd's pie and then on top I put a little bit of mozzarella cheese now today out of curiosity I decided to go on on YouTube and um, and just search for some uh, to get ideas you know to to just keep improving it and when I get a meal for example my meatloaf when I made my when I make my meatloaf every time that I make it it's different I, I'm always making it better I'm always adding more stuff experimenting with different uh, seasonings and stuff like that so I decided to go on YouTube and look for a for a recipe to see if others out there um, actually do the uh, the low carb uh, shepherd's pie with mashed cauliflower instead of the mashed potatoes and I found this video it was awesome and uh, pretty much uh, what I want to share with you guys is not a recipe for the sh for the shepherd's pie because I'm gonna make a video about that I'm gonna show you guys how I make it the next time that I make it again but right now I want to share with you guys a very simple recipe for mashed cauliflower if you're trying to stay away from carbs and you uh, want to substitute uh, the cauliflower mash uh, for mashed potatoes here's what you do okay you boil you could either get a head of uh, cauliflower or you could just buy the I'm sorry you guys <laughs> I thought I heard a noise in here and it's actually the neighbor's dog barking outside okay anyway <laughs> that was like a horror movie freaky moment right there <laughs> I think I watched too many horror movies anyway um okay I'm looking down because I'm looking on my phone because I wrote down the ingredients for the recipe so I can try it like that next time anyway uh, what was I saying okay yeah so uh, I'm not gonna give you the recipe for my uh, for my shepherd's pie with the mashed cauliflower because I actually want to make a video so you guys can see how I make it and how it all comes together at the end but right now um, this is what these are the ingredients that I wrote down off of that video that I saw and it looks so awesome you guys I'm definitely gonna gonna try that the next time that I make mashed cauliflower and it's very simple this is what you do okay like I was saying you can either use the uh, frozen bags of uh, cauliflower which is way easier like that or if you can't find the frozen ones just buy a head of ca cauliflower chop off the stem and just put it to boil boil it for a long time really much I can't tell you time I don't know if it's, if it's an hour or less or more I just keep an eye on it I would say pretty much about an hour of boiling it because you gotta make sure it gets very very tender very soft so you're able to mash it okay so after you boil your cauliflower you drain the water of course you put it back in the pot and this is what you're gonna add you're gonna put garlic powder um, garlic onion butter parmesan cheese heavy cream and sour cream oh my god that sounds so delicious like I said, I when I make mine, I only put a little bit of, I don't even put salt because the garlic powder is so strong that it, you know, it gives it the seasoning and you don't really need to add salt. So what I do is sometimes I put a little pinch of uh, black pepper, garlic powder, and butter. That's it. But uh, with this recipe right here, and me, I am a huge fan of sour cream. And sour cream is like dairy, so that's no problem. I could use it on my mashed cauliflower. Uh, like I said, what I'm trying to stay away is the bad carbs. So this is a great alternative if you guys are trying to stay away from the mashed potatoes. Um, trust me, once you try that mashed cauliflower, you're not going to miss mashed potatoes at all. I mean, like, honestly, I can honestly tell you guys that I don't miss it at all. So try it. Let me know how you guys like it. The next time I make it, I'm definitely going to add those ingredients and, and spice it up a bit. So, alright guys, just wanted to share that tip with you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.